sell in May and go away, come back on St. Ledger Day. That's a phrase that's been around for many years in financial markets, but curiously for sports markets, it's actually framing the flat turf season and also highlighting the Doncaster St. Ledger meeting, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get instant notification of new videos as they're released. So yeah, that phrase is uh, one that's used in the stock market. And basically the concept behind it is that uh, everybody disappears on holidays, does other things during the summer, and they get back behind their desks around this time of year. But obviously in sports markets, it's completely different. The flat turf season uh, tends to run between those periods, late April stroke early May when we have the guineas, runs all the way through um, until the St. Ledger, which is sort of signals the end of the flat turf season. It, it doesn't, it isn't the end of the flat turf season because we've still got Champions Day to come at Ascot in October, which is a massive highlight. But basically the evening racing has stopped now at the end of August. And as we transition through September and into October, you'll tend to find the number of uh, flat uh, turf racing declining and heading downwards and you tend to find all weather racing in the ascendancy. So all weather racing will see us through the winter until the next uh, flat turf season starts up again in April next year. Now there is an extra, the, the all weather season this year has Newcastle which it didn't have in previous years. So we've got Newcastle, Southwell, Lingfield, Kempton, Wolverhampton, Chelmsford City and I don't think I've missed anything else off there. Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. But um, that will see us through the winter in terms of flat racing and there'll be no uh, racing or flat racing over grass during the winter for obvious reasons. But there will be horses um, taking place in the National Hunt over the jumps. So jumps racing will start to rise in ascendancy as well. So as the flat turf season comes to an end, uh, we suddenly come back out in the other direction with all weather racing and jumps meetings. Now the interesting thing about jumps is that typically the field sizes tend to be a little bit smaller on the jumps. I've noticed that over the last few years. Um, so that necessarily has an impact on the markets. Um, but also horses don't load into stalls. So that uh, those situations that you get during the flat season where horses mess around as they're about to be loaded uh, vanishes during the jump season. Not impossible for horses to play around, but it's much less likely. But the St. Ledger meeting um, is one of the oldest classics around. It is the oldest classic, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it basically means that uh, we're towards the end of that particular period and uh, you know we're into the transition into the jump season but the St Ledger meeting is a highlight on the way there. The St Ledger meeting runs from Wednesday to Saturday. Wednesday isn't much to speak of, uh, you've got no group racing on a Wednesday so the quality isn't there but the, when the group racing kicks in on a Thursday, Friday and a Saturday there is good quality there and you can get some pretty good markets uh, that follow it. The pattern is similar to other meetings like Goodwood where you get the quality in the middle of the card and then it's top and tailed by some lower quality stuff. So you have to be fairly flexible in terms of the way you trade it because the markets are going to trade differently over the course of that particular day. But it's a fairly decent meeting. Last year it turned over 22 million in match bet volume and the average race turned over about 800,000. So if you look at the average race overall, you're going to be turning over 450 to 500,000. Um, so if you look at Doncaster, you're talking um, about volume that's almost double what you'd expect to see. But of course, most of that's going to be focused on the group racing, where those group races can turn over best part of a million or so uh, quite easily. So yeah, Doncaster is a good meeting. It's a good way to transition yourself into this new period. It's a great chance to get off to a good start to September. And, uh, you know, there aren't that many highlights um, throughout September. It's, it's not a huge month. Um, so this is a good opportunity to do something useful at the start of the month and put yourself in a good mood for the rest of the month. But also as we transition through the month, you'll begin to notice more jumps meetings coming on, more all weather racing. And it's a very much a transitional uh, period as we go through uh, into, uh, through the whole of September and into October. There's a lot of different things going on and um, you've got a mixture of flat turf races, of all weather races and jumps at the same time. So sometimes that can dislocate you a bit. If you've been used to trading a certain way during the summer and it's all very predictable, suddenly you know you may get a little bit of disruption as we go through this transitional period. But anyway, 
The Doncaster St Ledger meeting is a good meeting, uh, plenty of turnover, plenty of opportunities. I'm going to give it a good shot and uh, hope that you have a good meeting as well. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe or even comment on the video if you wish. The more you do that, the more videos I can produce. But also don't forget to visit betangel.com and download a free trial.